Yo, can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? If y'all can hear me, give me a yes or no. I need to know if y'all can hear me. Can y'all hear me? Oh, shoot. Can y'all hear me? Okay, okay, okay. Hey, Miss Bernadette. Hey, Willie. Miss Hot Paint. Alicia, don't give a fuck. Earn. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I gotta get this to y'all real quick. Now, now it was some things that, that was said today and yesterday that, that was complete bullshit. And what I want to do is I'm trying to get what I need because I want to address the shit. And I want to address it one time for the one time. And then leave the shit alone, you know? Like this boom boom room shit about me and hold on, hold on. <laughs> they crazy as hell. They still sending me stuff. Still sending me stuff. Hold on, y'all. Oh. Uh, let me send one last thing to Levi. Um, I don't know if I got any mods over here. I don't know. But we're gonna put it all in place today. All right. So what I want to say is I want to address these lies that happen in the boom boom room where people would try to tell me how to address them back. Where do we get that at? Thank you, Nisi. Where do we get that at? You can't tell me how to address you once you try to address me. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell me how to address you once you try to address me. Now, with that being said, is this right here. Um, I'm still sending stuff to other people. One thing I'm going to say is this right here. When you run with a lie, it's my job to address the lie. Now, the lie that kills me is this right here. When people say it ain't no fun when a rabbit got the gun. That's true. And I've had the gun for a while. And I haven't relinquished it yet. But Let's uh let's, let's address some stuff. Keep you know going back and forth with the chat because I lose my train of thought. So for the past two days, I was sent a link to go check out Denise Brewer 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 Denise Brewer's page. And uh, I was, I was. You know, hold up. I'm gonna do it better. I'm gonna do one better. I'm gonna do one better. Hold on. I'm gonna do one better. Send this. Uh. Um, let me do it like this real quick. <sighs> so, 
everyone. So, hey, Darlene. How you doing? Say what I have to say. I can't keep, you know, going back and forth with the chat because I lose my train of thought. So, for the past two days, I was sent a link to go check out Denise Brewer. 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 Denise Brewer's page. And uh, I was I was sent a link to go check out her page and everything. And then I liked what I saw. You know what I mean? I liked what she was talking and everything. She was talking my language. She was talking the real truth. She was former Team Truth. And I never thought that I would even go on anybody's page that was Team Truth. You know what I mean? But she's a former Team Truth uh, supporter or whatever. And the same shit that goes on over here went on over there, but they hear their shit a lot better. Okay? And uh, Larry, you know, she said they was full of shit. Well, I knew that. You know what I'm saying? I knew that when we first came. I knew that nigga was full of shit. So she spilled a lot of shit. You know what I mean? She spilled a lot of shit. I'm paraphrase what she said, because um, I'm not going to say word for word verbatim, but I'm going to paraphrase what she said. And if I incorrect anything, please, Miss Denise, you know, set it right. Um, if I miss, you know, you know, quote you or whatever, or even miss paraphrase you or whatever. But she basically said that, and this is to the I ops, and this is to the other side that fucks with the ops. Okay, because I, I knew it. I couldn't understand for the life of me why this shit was happening. And thinking of my situation when I called in on Dana Live and the shit that she's saying, I don't know this woman. I have never talked to this woman. The shit that she's saying, and when the night I called in on Dana Live, it makes motherfucking sense because I never got a damn thorough answer. All I got was they don't backstab me and all this that. And this whole fight ain't about us personally. It's supposed to be about, you know, Robert Sylvester Kelly. Even with them, y'all have to excuse me. Even with them, it was about Robert Sylvester Kelly. Whether you wanted to see him in jail or whether you wanted to see him free. It was all about that. It was not supposed to be about us personally. Somehow, some of the bloggers got in their feelings and made it about them personally. So when you do know when you blog about R. Kelly, you get attacked. You get attacked by people who want him to be guilty. Not just believe, but they want it so bad for him to be guilty. And I uh, even did rants and spoke on that shit, right? So she says up there, she's telling some things, and I never got an answer like, okay, I fuck with three guys, okay? So I'm going to reiterate this shit, and I'm going to break down with the some shit she said. Now, when she was on her live, the shit she was saying, she wasn't talking directly to me, but it gave me answers by the fuck. I fell out with two or three of the guys that I rocked so hard with just a couple of months ago. And I never got an answer. And I'm thinking like, damn, if you're friends and we have a falling out, shouldn't we know why the fuck we fell out? Like, how the fuck you have a falling out and you don't even know why? You know what I mean? Like, how the fuck you call in on what you call your brother's lie and the ox who tried to put this young mentor away attack her and lie on her and you know it and you don't say shit. And then she said some shit on her life. Now, this is what she said. I'm, I'm like, well, this makes sense on why the fuck he didn't say nothing. Because remember I said the other day, I said, I never want him to take up to me. I said, I just want him to tell the truth. And she was basically saying, it ain't no truth in none of this shit, basically. You know what I'm saying? We knew Team Kells was fucked up. We knew it was a, we were bigger. Okay, I'm going to go in. I'm going to say this. Since you want to listen to Denise Brewer. Oh, you know what? I'm going to let you finish. I'm going to let you finish. Hold on. Everybody wanted to put their name on shit. We knew we were fucked up and we knew we were infiltrated. Because even back in the early days, we was trying to figure out who the mole was and all this. Recently, I was the goddamn mole. I was I, I was brought into this. You understand what I'm saying? Introduced to this. People forgot that, but the day was new. So she said some things to me. She said, Larry is the cause of all this confusion. Well, I knew that. I knew that. But what I fail to understand is why the other side who rocks with Team Truth don't get that. 
Like once somebody, you cannot be on that much of a slow bus. People are like, oh, there's the people on the slow bus. The bus don't ride that motherfucking slow or that bitch just broke down. Okay? If that damn bus that slow, that motherfucker broke down. Call the tow truck. All right? Let's get that fucking shit understood. Ain't nobody that damn slow. I'm not even going to be entertaining that. If your bus roll that slow, your ass need to call the tow truck. And get on another motherfucking bus because it broke down. So I'm listening to her talk. And she says they wanted her to lie and stuff like that. Okay. I understand that because that's all they do is lie over there. And then I'm going to get on them talking shit about me in just a second. I'm going to get on that shit too. But I'm going to tie this shit in on why it, it made sense to me on what she said. And I told her in her lie. Yeah, they didn't pay him to call with that old bullshit. They knew I was live. They get the notifications. And this here demon, he uh he wish I would say his name. I would never say his name on my live, okay? Uh thank Hold on for a second, yeah. Hold on. I would love you say you sent me a cash app, but I'm in his buffering because you're in the hospital. So just wanted to send the message. I can't come back. I'm kicked out from buffering. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's on my end or what. Probably a signal in there. I apologize, but I appreciate you, dear. I really do. Okay. So now there's an attack going on. Okay. All right. Let's finish. That was going to piggyback off of what she's talking about. Only not just to say what she said, but from my point of view, on how I'm, I'm gathering, talking to these guys off the line off the net and why the hell we kind of split up in both ways and i'm thinking to myself damn that's fucked up so she said the other day she said that larry i think or angelo one of them like i said miss brewer you can you can correct me if i'm saying wrong i'm trying to do the best that i can she said that larry and angelo approached dana which that never was said to me you know what I mean? I talk to Dana often, not maybe as much as I talk to uh, Levi and Bender, but I talk to him often. I didn't know nothing about this. And they said that he got scared. And she said, she said, this, this, this is me. And, and, and she said that he uh, was afraid. Okay. Now, I, I didn't know anything about that. Because at that particular time, I was rocking hard for my peoples. And I got people, and no one told me. I'm gonna go here. Ain't nobody tell you that shit because that shit ain't never happened. You keep listening to an old fat fuck face bitch that don't know the fuck she's talking about. No holes bar today. First of all, and Denise Brewer started rocking off with me. Me and Tyson got into it. My page got struck by Hollywood Next, and then she went over there to Larry the Grown Man show. Let's go ahead. Let's give detailed facts. From there, she hated R. Kelly. She came out. She said I was stupid because I fought for R. Kelly. She tried to take over Larry the Grown Man show. She tried to tell him what to do. They and they got into their little thing. I don't know what happened to that. Next thing I know. She was kicked off. Then she put a lie out there and said, the only person I know Dana in Baltimore is some faggies. So I called her ass. I ain't do it on the net. I called her. And she said, that's not the way I said. I didn't do it that way. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. So I left it alone. And then, she's call and then she called me recently, three times in the middle of the night. Is this... Is this uh, DJ Tyson? So I started laughing. And I said, look, you know that's not Tyson. That's the first time. Second time, can I speak to DJ Tyson? Man, you know that's not Tyson phone. Stop doing it. Third time she did it. Is this DJ Tyson? I said, look, you funky, fur or you funky breath bitch. You know this ain't Tyson. And she hung up. All right. So now she's running to anywhere to feel accepted. And she's spreading lies. And one thing for sure, two, two things for certain. I'm a beast in my own right. Ain't nobody going to threaten me and I'm going to go join them. What the fuck you got me taking me as? The fuck? 
But I'm not, but I'm not your other brother that but you claim and dick ride so heavy, spitting fire. I don't do that shit. I stand my ground against everybody. And before there was a spitting fire or a R.A. Jackson, Dana J was here fighting against Team Truth and Grown Man without y'all. So at the end of the day, don't come that way with me with that bullshit. And I'm just going to keep it 100. So I'm listening to what you're saying. So don't say, oh, Dana, you taking it out of proportion. I ain't taking shit. I'm taking it away, y'all gullible ass motherfuckers giving it. Let's finish. He, that he was approached, you know, by Angela or Larry. No one told me, you know what I mean? So I'm like, wow, and he, so to join team, he got scared. So because Angelo had approached him because he was talking about Azrael, and so he was forced to join team truth. Okay, that this is what she said. Now I don't know if this be the truth or not. Don't be, don't say spitting fire said shit. I'm paraphrasing. No, I'm saying spitting fire said it because you shouldn't repeat a fucking lie. If you repeating it, you said it. Lies are carried by fools, and right now you're a fucking fool, and I'd be the first to say it. But you know what? You made it clear a month and two weeks, six days and seventeen hours ago. When you and Larry got into it and, oh, you didn't defend me against Larry. How can I defend about something I don't know? He said you and Block was on the phone with him. How the fuck can I know that you and Block is on the phone with, oh, with him? Matter of fact, I'm going to tell you how I know. Show me in the future. Spitting fire on the phone with Black and Larry. What are they talking about? Man, Miss Cleo ain't my motherfucking friend. And you ain't never said nothing about it. I don't talk to Block. I'm definitely not talking to that motherfucker now. Because now I got concrete proof that that nigga ain't never like me. But guess what? I pop my own collar, I pay my own fucking bills, I toot my own motherfucking horn, and I have my own fucking following on YouTube. How many of y'all motherfuckers can say that? I'll wait. So at the end of the day, continue listening to Denise Brewer. I love it. I've been approached by Team Truth. They threatened me. Well, let me take you back, Spitting Fire. Uh, Next week will make almost three years, right? No, almost two years, right? When I first got into it with Angelo, Angelo said, I respect you because you're the only one that can't be brought over there. Everybody else been brought in compromise. They offered me all type of cash. I never took it. They, they offered me all type of incentives. I never took it. Why? Because I'm a man's man. I fight for my guy. So, I do believe it's more on this. But if I can remember correctly, you said you ain't need Dana to take up for you. When Tyson said he will slap the dog shit out of you. Well, Blockman didn't take up for you. Me and Levi did. And if you want to know the truth of why you fell out with me and Levi, okay, I'll tell you the truth. Because Levi said he don't even want to talk to y'all. I'll tell you the truth. You fell out with Levi because Levi said, spitting fire, don't be gullible. You said, what do that mean? He said, spitting fire, you're gullible right now. Don't be gullible and naive for the ways of Blockbender. You turned around and said, don't you never motherfucking come at me like that. And Levi said, what? And you said, don't you ever fucking come at me like that. And Levi said, as a friend, if I can't tell you how I feel, then make this the last conversation. You said, well, I don't give a fuck. It is what it is. 
and he hung up. That was the last conversation. Now, if I have to release proof, you know I will. Because I have that whole conversation. Secondly, me and you fell out. Because after that shit with Larry, you went on your page and you said, you going solo. You ain't fucking with me, Levi, or Blockbender. Well, a nosy like a nosy motherfucker like me, I was in your chat when you had Jocelyn Smith in your fucking chat. Jocelyn Smith is the one that helped Bedbug fuck up the defense fund. And he gained monetary gains off of that. But you didn't seem to have a problem with her being in your chat. So I backed away slowly. But then I came back two days later to your chat. And I seen somebody say, don't give up the fight. Mind you, you said you going solo. You ain't fucking with me, Block, or Levi. So I see you ain't fuck with Levi. I see you distance from me. But when I look in your chat and they said, don't leave. You said, we not. Now, in school, we means more than one. So I wanted to continue reading. You said, we not. We just decided to fight for injustice with a different group of people and a different team. At that part, when you said that, spitting fire, I looked. I laughed. I said, okay. That's what's up. I started to comment, but then I said, nope. I want to see what else come out of this. Then you come back, Blockbender got COVID. Everybody pr pray for Blockbender. But when Levi had got a little ill, you ain't say pray for Levi. When Dana got sick, you ain't say pray for Dana. But we all supposed to be your brothers, right? <laughs> and then when I seen you kiss ass to the nigga that was for that said he's going to slap the shit out of you. And he spit venom. It made me turn my head. But more importantly, when I seen the Michelin lady come over there and speak to you like nothing never happened. And that same night that you and Larry was going at it, I was holding her back on the phone like, uh-uh, I can't let you do that. That's my sister. I find it funny that whenever you got attacked, whether it was by Larry or by Bedbug or Deep Driver Dookie Shoot, me and Levi was first ones there. We were the first responders. Where was Block? Hmm. Block was nowhere to be found. But you see, I find it funny how now he pops up when all of y'all got the kumbaya against me. And then he made the statement, that's one man I will never talk to again. I'm happy about that. Because after seeing what you said to me about me to two different people, you're one man that I will never even entertain or discuss. But I find it funny that everybody that hated each other all came together to attack me, but then going to say, this for Robert Spencer Kelly. No, it's not. Y'all motherfuckers don't give a fuck about Robert. It's all about me. And I get it. Each one of y'all got your own agenda why y'all don't like me. And at the end of the day, all of y'all bulls up to being jealous of me. And that's fine. Because I will fuck each and every last one of y'all up on these YouTube streets. Either together or one by one. On a bad day, people come to look at me. And to see what I bring about R. Kelly and the truth I bring. They only go to y'all to be entertained. Sorry if I let that out the bag. At the end of the day, I said what I said. 
Denise the Coon, don't lie on me. <laughs> so at the end of the day, and then all this said bullshit. Oh, I told you to leave said ball alone. Hold on. You told me to leave said ball alone and to leave my subscribers alone, right? But you joined the pack of motherfucking liars and snakes. And the only way you can roll with a snake is if you are a snake. And then I seen the most sickening shit today ever. Dana? Nah, 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 nah. And before I go there, I'm going to end it with you, Spitting Fire, and I'm going to say this. You made a statement at, at the end of this bullshit, and I want to get this shit off my screen because I do not fuck with y'all. You, you made a statement and said that Dana is team truth. Well, I, I'm going to say this. If being smart and intellectual and having conversations with the people who don't believe the same thing I believe for the same person that I believe in and they don't believe in, and they got people that's over there that claim they got tides and that spent time with him and they exaggerating their story. Then guess what? How would you ever know anything unless you debate or have a conversation with the ones who don't believe the same thing that you are? But then I'm gonna go here for all the spiritual people over there. How can you ever win? Anybody on a side that you believe in, if you don't conversate with the ones you don't believe with, with the ones, but I don't believe in what you believe in. Answer that question. Now you're talking about a slow bus. Let's get it. You on a bus with a, a dookie driver that want to do pornography with a transsexual on camera. You on a slow bus with a dude who stalks women and want to lie and attack women. You want a slow bus with groupies and land rovers that just want to sit there and, oh, what you say? What you say? What you say? What you say? Then you want a bus with gossipers. Now, check this out. I'm going to give you the leaders over here Brooke, Dana. Sky Zone, Tox, Prima Donna, Senator, New to the Table, Liqua, Levi, and then the ninth one, Taylor Mix for you. So at the end of the day, we good over here. And with all nine of our platforms, we don't have yes men. We have people that think, that say, well, Dana, let's look at this. Let's do this. Let's do that. Oh, I'm sorry. Just jazz. So that's 10. We have a group of leaders over here. And we together have logical conversations with Team Truth. That's how we can break down indictments and shit. So I got a question for y'all. Y'all got about 90 motherfuckers over there. How come none of y'all can break down an indictment, but all of y'all can talk data? Answer that question. And then let's go here. We are not all one big kumbaya like y'all are. We just leaders that respect one another. And we can come together for the same cause, which is Robert Sylvester Kelly. That's why you see us breaking down indictments over here. That's why you see us brainstorming and quizzing each other on who's the Jane Doe's. That's why you can see us go to Team Truth and hold logical conversations. Now, which one of y'all can do the same thing? And then I'm going to go here because, you know, I'm going to go deep with this shit with you spitting fire. When Blockbender had Team Truth on his platform, and Levi on his platform, and you on his platform. When Blockbender was indulging with Team Truth, ain't nobody has shit to say. You know what y'all said? That's just grown men coming together and bringing everybody together. But when Blockbender fall out with Team Truth because Angelo pulled the power ranking on Cash Jones over Blockbender, 
And because Black been the dick pic is all over America, including with niggas. Now, all of a sudden, it's a problem when, when everybody is with Team Truth over here. No. The problem is, y'all need me over there. I won't go. I separated. And now y'all realize y'all fucked up. So do me a favor. Think back to when all of y'all came together on that platform all night. That was y'all downfall. And that's why I don't fuck with y'all. I could have overlooked everything else. But that right there, I will never overlook. And I'll carry that shit to my grave. So, at the end of the day, I heard you say, I, I, I will call in on your platform. I don't need you calling me. I gave you that chance. You called in disrespectful. You called yourself hanging up. You have aspirated your chances of talking to me. I don't play games. This is not a game for me. This is my life. And I thought you were solid. But I guess solid motherfuckers done turn liquid. Next thing. I heard the dumbest shit ever today. And the biggest lie ever today. It's been said, and I'm going to call your name, Sylvia. I ain't going to make up no name for you, even though I got a lot of motherfucking names to give you. You said somebody told you. <laughs> somebody told me that uh, Dana and Sidbo said that they want my marriage to fail. And that they was going to do everything they can do to make my marriage fail. You're not that important for me to talk about making somebody marriage fail. What the fuck is wrong with you? Stop lying to your people. That conversation was never had. You want to know the conversation but that man and Sidbo had about you? It's how stupid you are because you've been dictated on what to do and you stab me in the back when I hold all your truths. Then you said <laughs> my husband might not trust me because of outsiders and what Dana did. Dana sent him stuff and y'all I don't want y'all to like me. I mean I don't want y'all to dislike me because of a lie I want y'all to dislike me just because y'all dislike me but not because of a lie y'all Sylvia I'm gonna uh, ask you this question do you remember you saying three months ago that you was gonna go for divorce because you wasn't happy with your husband on YouTube Sylvia, do you realize that you was at the cook-off that I participated in with T. Stevens, and I left. And when I left, you grabbed Antonio Dingling on your motherfucking live chat and said, oh, my God, y'all, it's all there. He's packing. And then your motherfucking attack dog said, let me see. Put it on the table. Sylvia, did you forget that? Sylvia. Then you said, <laughs> I ain't never said nothing about Dana's car. I never said nothing about the car. Sylvia, what about four chats ago, four lives ago, when you said, it's a 2014 Ultima? It's nice inside. It's 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 it got automatic everything and it's not paid for. But uh yeah, I think Dana make two hundred and forty five dollars in payments and and I looked at that live and I said, okay, and I sent it to Ronald because Ronald told you do not discuss anything. And I gave him my word that I wasn't gonna discuss anything, Sylvia. 
But then after I seen you lying and shit, I sent him a text and said, I'm not going to continue letting her fuck me up with these lies. And then he said, brother, please. I said, please is gone. Now, since you want to put it out there, my payments, let's keep it real, Toronto. And if you want, I will open up my Zelle and show you. It's three seventy five sixty every month, and I'm never late. Even when I had to break it down and pay you, Sylvia, for him through Cash App. So let's get that straight. The insurance that I pay for, it's in my name. So let's not get it twisted. Me and Ronald have an agreement. So how can you ask Apple Butt or Apple Bottom or Apple Skid Butt, whatever the fuck her name is, how can you talk about repo, repossessing anything? If the car is what you want, Sylvia, then guess what? Total to this day right now, I paid out $2,518.63 and everything I needed with the car, okay? So before I put out another 243 to get the front windshield fixed, how about if y'all want to come get it, you give me the whole amount that I put into this. And then we can call it even. The same day I will go and get a 2020. And the only reason why I got the car, Sylvia, is because you said, Dana, and you need a car, and Ronald's getting rid of his car, and it will help us out a lot. And I said, cool. Anything for y'all. Because we was tight like that. Then you said you haven't spoken to me since July. Hmm. Sylvia, the last time I spoke with you was two days after. After. No, I'm sorry. Was a day after you released that recording with Dr. Rice. Ever since then, it was been me and Randa talking. And Randa kept saying, talk to Sylvia. And I said, nope. I'm not kissing ass. If she want to talk to me, tell her to call me. You called me one time, and I was at work with my supervisors. I wasn't answering that phone. And then you pulled off the shit you pulled off. But a week before you pulled it off, you would sneak this in the whole time. When people went in your chat talking about, oh, you and Dana beefing. And you was like, yeah, Dana don't like me right now. They came right in my chat and said, oh, you and Sylvia beefing. I said, nah, I don't know what you're talking about. Then let's talk about these recordings. Because half the court recordings that Randa got came from you. But you said, and your, your little number one dick sucker, Dom K, said, Dana can't be your friend because he's been recording you the whole time. I was recording for a day like today, and I'm going to tell you why. It was you, Sylvia, that could have got Robert Sylvester Kelly killed. And I knew nothing about it. You should have stuck to your guns when you asked Jasmine, did I know? And she said no. But you gave out the address to the gym. And guess who it fell back on? Me. I overlooked it, but I got fussed out about it. From Robert Sylvester Kelly. And I'm looking like I don't even know what's going on. I said it from the time that y'all pulled up to the Trump and y'all start doing all the fuck shit. Everybody worry about themselves, but nobody thinking about how it's going to affect me. But now I see that none of y'all gave a fuck. So you gave out the address to Jasmine. And since that day, and I knew it took Shaborn to make you apologize and to admit, I knew something about you just wasn't right. But I was willing to overlook it because of Dallas. I only fuck with you, Sylvia, because of Dallas. And I told you that. And you said, well, Dana, I'm a good person. Just give me a chance. I did. Look what you did. So while you over here lying, let's tell the truth. 
lasting. When you went to every platform, giving out information that you pulled from your work computer, it's fine. But then you turned around and said, I had you under a spell. I made you do that. You know, Robert Sylvester Kelly got a huge body of work. I'm still working to reach that huge, huge body of work. What troll? What troll? So, and everything that Javante and all them is doing to Robert Chester Kelly, Sylvia, y'all doing to me. But I'm built for this. But I'm built for this. And then let's go here. I heard y'all say, well, you know, Larry... And Team Truth got Tyson kicked out of the apartment. I mean, I mean of, of the hotel. That's not true. Now, since everybody won't tell what it is, that's not true. Sylvia, you and Randa gave Larry the information on Tyson. Just like when I was going down there and y'all thought I was joking and I said, no, I'm going to go and book that ticket. Randa said, I knew he was at that Red Roof Inn, but I didn't pull the trigger because I wasn't for sure. And that's the one that he moved. And that's the one he moved from to go to the apartment. Let's keep it real. Y'all mad at Larry because Larry wouldn't do shit that y'all wanted him to do. And I ain't taking up for him, but y'all motherfuckers called Larry. Sylvia, you was begging Larry to get on your live stream on your channel. That's why he will pop up on your live stream. Because you begging. Hold on. Yo. I'm live. Yeah. All right, but I'm on my, but I'm on my actor's channel. Okay, that's cool. All right. All right. So let's keep it straight. It wasn't Larry. It was y'all that got the information. And to this day, I still don't know how y'all got the information. But just until we fell out. Y'all was giving me the dime on where his apartment complex is at now. I found out that is in. I found out his apart. I meant for the lady, uh, what what is for the property manager. And I came to you, Sylvia and Randon. I said, "Can y'all run this name? Because I want to pay this nigga a visit." And when y'all didn't do it, I knew it was something finicky going on then. Because any other time, y'all would be quick to pull up shit and give it to me. Even if I didn't even ask, y'all be like, huh, here's such and such and such, such. But now and all of a sudden, it's a stop there. Then let's go with Sandra. Sylvia, did, wasn't you the one that said you really don't fuck with her? I, I, I'm going to call all y'all out, man. Because all y'all are phony as fuck. I don't fuck with her, but that bitch thought too much shit. And, and yes, I said it. I said it. Dana said it. Dana said, I do not fuck with her on no levels. Because she lied on me. And Sylvia, you and Gucci, the one that came and told me what she was saying and lying in those groups and to other people behind my back. And then Gucci said, I will never fuck with her neither because she fucks with Don Russell Heavy. Now tell me I'm lying. Y'all should know by now not to play with me. Now tell me I'm lying. 
But Sylvia, you quick to say that I made you do something. Okay. You quick to say that Dana had you on, on Stockholm Syndrome. Well, take a listen to this. I'm going to play two recordings. I want y'all to tell me, am I controlling this lady? So why don't you bring the dinner? No. Why is that so long? What is he doing? Why don't you bring the dinner? Huh? I'm saying, what is she talking about now? Because the other thing was a lady crying and all that. I wasn't known for that today. Let's be known for something. Let's 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 sugar and spice. That's when Miss Dior and Sugar and Spice was on live. Now listen to what she say. Huh? Miss Dior five with Sugar and Spice. Oh, she she kind of on her. Oh, I don't want to hear that stupidness. Ooh, I turn it off. Wow, bro. I <laughs> right, need go back and watch this. Hey, what is she talking about now? Okay, fine. That's one. And since y'all over there Hello? with the Grand Pumba block bender, take a listen to this. So a view point from a view from Tracy's point like it. Say so he is on his own. What is he talking to me about? What? I did something to put him in jeopardy. What the fuck is he talking about? This nigga was on my live with me. What are you talking about? And let me address this. This is during the time that Blockbender and all of them went to Kip. With all these lies and that false ass shit, trying to make it seem like I was trying to get Kip in trouble. That's what this is about. And then you're gonna hear how Sylvia feel about Blockbender. Did you make up lies and shit? Yeah. Did you read what he said? Yeah, I read that bullshit. That shit. Make a clown, man. I'm messy. This is the shit that came from gender phases, but they pumped his head up and shit. Mm -hmm. But as you heard last night, Kip, Kip been planning this shit. Oh, crap. What? Oh, wait a minute. Uh, level up has something that not knocking on uh, what's name is talking on. He says, I don't know the truth about R. Kelly. Oh my god, DJ Knock is a trip. Oh my god, what the hell? What are you talking about? Who's DJ Knock, y'all? I'm 
I'm looking at Twitter. Level Up Now has just put something in here. And she says, I'm sick. He says, what the fuck? I'm done. I'm free out, Kelly. I'm sick of everyone, okay? PJ Knox says, LOL, I still believe it was him on that video. What? 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 Is, is, what the hell? What's going on with him? Senator, I told you he's with Team True. Y'all thought I was fucking lying. Oh, shit. That's why I stopped talking to him when I, when I put that together. Send it to me. Come on, level up. She got it on here. Send it to me. If you read this screenshot, send it to me. I'm trying to screenshot, but it moves. Hold on. It, it's one of those moving screenshots. Hey, Candice. Hey, Miss Lady T. Hey, hey, Faces and Beyond. Okay, I'm screenshot on Hey, Faces and Beyond. I keep telling y'all. <laughs> I'm going to wait till this finish. But I'm controlling her. This is a love the dedication. Oh, my God. Hold on. Let me send this to you. What is going on? Last, LOL, I still believe that was him on that videotape. Did you hear Steve what he said? Um, have you sent me a whole screenshot, so I'm trying to look at all of it. Keep R. Kelly locked up is uh is what's it called, bro? Mm. Is um is uh Larry. So I'm being trained, so I'm being informed that they are 400 people on this planet. I'm not even going to respond to y'all. These folks. And somebody just should be like, you know what, Kip? I, I think you should be a man and call it.
And I'm going to stop that right there. So at the end of the day, I'm not even going (laughs) to. Why should I defend myself? Not when I know the truth. Sylvia know the truth. A lot of them motherfuckers over there that's on that slow bus. But they going to follow them fat motherfuckers over there right off the cliff. And all this fake ass praying y'all doing. You guys talking about, oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. No, but y'all haven't apologized to the one person that y'all need to apologize to. And as Blockbender would say, Dana, you just want people to suck your dick. Hey, well, if that's what it's about, then shit. Y'all wrong. I know Blockbender ain't never liked me. And then I'm going to go here. I'm not going to let Spit and Fire get away with that bullshit either. Because at first, Spit and Fire ain't fuck with me. But she put on that front like she really gave a damn about me. And then the truth already done came out. Come on, yo. I seen it all. And the only reason why Keish T attacked me and then played the 50 like, I don't know why Dana's attacking me. No. No. Spitting fire pulled you in, Keish T, and you didn't think before you reacted. So I re-reacted. Let's go here. Tyson talking about, oh, I got all that shit on Bozo. And you might got it, because I tell it. Yes, I did threaten you. And I meant every motherfucking word I said, though. That's the problem. I meant everything I said. But what you didn't do is you didn't tell them how you recorded in that courthouse. And guess who got the footage? Guess who got the footage? And guess who turning it over on Monday morning? So trust and believe anything I said, I meant. I'm not playing with y'all. There's not no internet shit. And then for Spin Fire to sit back and say, oh, they had to do what they had to do to, to defend them. Well, I got to do what I got to do to defend me too. And since you rocking with him, spitting fire, whatever you get from them, that's what you get, and you deserve it. One thing I'm going to tell you, me and Levi is Dana and Levi, a.k.a. the dream team. Did I make myself clear? Dana and Levi is Dana and Levi, a.k.a. The dream team. Larry is team truth. Let's not make that mistake again. And while you over there listening to the bootleg baby with no benefits with all that fake fox fur, tell that bitch to clean her house and stop smoking 90 cigarettes a minute. And tell her I said it. And I don't give a fuck how none of y'all feel. At the end of the day, ain't none of y'all gonna do shit. Matter of fact, in person, none of y'all. But I got some promises to fill. And one thing about me, I don't let shit go. So whether it's now, New York, 90 years from now, 100 years from now, and an afterlife, I'm going to get my just due. So y'all can call me a snitch or whatever, but when one want to snitch, I take it to the next level. That's how I am. When you do something to me, I take it to a whole nother level above you. 
So they should have thought about that when they called my GM, when they sent pitches, when they called my job. They should have thought about all that. They ain't give a fuck about my job. So I don't give a fuck about their freedom. Simple as that. And I don't know when. I don't know where. But what I do know is they coming. (laughs) And I'm not stopping with just them two. Y'all got some emails that's connected to Don Russell over there. (laughs) Man, oh man. That's all I'm going to say. At the end of the day, I've been talking to the feds, yep. Just recently. About the love after lockup henchman of Don Russell. And if you want to know when the timetable recent is, like Friday morning, around like 11.55 a.m. <laughs> so call it what you want. Right, faces. I ain't let none of that go. So call it what you want. Like I said, I thank everybody. Oh, I forgot one thing. Oh, forgot one thing. That rally in New York is Sylvia's and Gucci's rally, right? Well, let's tell the truth. And I believe Faces, you was there when I said it. Originally, that rally was my idea and my rally. But Sylvia and Gucci said they was from New York. So I said, y'all go ahead and take over that rally in New York. I'm going to do the one in D.C. But since this is your rally, Sylvia, and since you said you was donating to the defense fund when you thought it was real, and you heard Doug Anton come and tell y'all it was real again, until each and every last one of them contribute to the defense fund over there everybody stop supporting that rally in new york everybody y'all hit gucci and ask for a refund now i'm about to operate the way they do have anybody got a tally of where that money went to people hitting me asking me about their shirts i don't have nothing to do with that so until gucci can get y'all a detailed rap tally of where y'all money went to and y'all know what's going on stop fucking with that rally in new york on top of that why is y'all going to deal with that rally anyway let's keep it 100 nobody's going to be in new york everything is going to be done by phone conference hell and donnelly ain't going to be in new york rob ain't going to be in new york the lawyers ain't going to be in new york So why would y'all go rally in the heart of Brooklyn right by Marcy Projects where somebody can chase y'all and hit y'all upside y'all damn head? Ask yourself that question. And then I'm going to go here, last but not least. This rally that happened not too long ago in Chicago, this pop-up 9-11 rally. One man ain't no enterprise. That same goddamn man up there telling lies. So at the end of the day, he said he can survive without any cash apps. He lying like shit. I'm going to go here. They charging Rob with witness intimidating, right? Now, I want y'all to think. Y'all got an office. Y'all got an office, right? Y'all help put somebody in jail, right? 
you know all of the so-called victims, right? Right? But you have a group of people that come up with the person that y'all put in jail, a bandana with his face on it. And they standing in front of your building, threatening people and calling out the listed alleged victims. Wouldn't y'all consider that witness intimidation? I'm just lost. Yes or no. And if I'm wrong, I'll shut up. But I want y'all to be honest. Wouldn't y'all consider that witness intimidation? Yes or no? I want to see what they say in the chat. I got one yes. So far. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. So if that's witness intimidation and you doing it to Kim Fox, wouldn't it look like Rob made y'all do that? I'm just saying. That's why they keep holding him for shit. Because it's motherfuckers like that who don't give a fuck about Robert. As long as they getting their name out there to, to, to achieve whatever they can achieve, that's what's really going on. And the problem is they all want to take me and leave out because they jealous of one thing. The dollar for the king. You don't see them addressing nothing else other than what? The dollar for the king and the defense fund. So when you sit back and you look at it all and I saw you keep hearing. The dollar for the king, the defense fund. Dollar for the king, the defense fund. Dollar for the king, the defense fund. I, I'm still waiting on a video that me and Azriel and Angelo and Larry was at, at was at Azriel's 20th birthday celebration in Vegas. I'm still waiting to see that. I'm still waiting to see the facts where Dana J stole from the R. Kelly Defense Fund, a.k.a. the dollar for the king. I'm still waiting to see where Levi got anything. Because if they can produce that, I can go to court and I can tell the federal government in front of everybody, y'all some motherfucking lies, release Robert Sylvester Kelly because y'all lied on a motherfucking motion and said that it was only $10,000 there, but these people proved that Dana J stole $40,000 out of the dollar for the king that he had no control over, that he had no access to. That's the problem. That's the problem. Where there's no proof, there's no case. And I bet you, if any one of them would have came up with the dollar for the king, a.k.a. the R. Kelly Defense Fund, if any one of them would have helped Doug Anton with it, they wouldn't have been under attack. But because me and Levi, and they think we slow and stupid, they want to try to attack us and then play victim. When we attack back. Last thing, because I know I said that was the last thing. I'm going to go here. Somebody said that Spitting Fire said she was going to open up defense funds. Look, look, look at this. They opening defense funds, but who is it backed by? The only defense fund that's backed by the lawyers is what? The R. Kelly Defense Fund, the dollar for the king. And then here's another thing that get me. Hold on, Midget Man told his people that if they give anything to the fund, F them and don't come back to the platform. That was the day that Doug was on your live. He was angry about the truth. He abused his subs. Well, they like it, so fuck them too. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. I'm now taking Levi's stance. If they over there and dealing with them, they like it. Hell with them. I don't got time to put up with stupidity people. So, I'm going to say this. 
and I'm going to go here. I heard Spitting Fire say, yeah, DJ said what he said about R. Kelly, but that's in the past. Damn. So if you heard what DJ said about R. Kelly, but that's in the past. I know what Block Mender said about R. Kelly. That's in the past, too. And if I got motherfuckers that's stealing from me and lying and tricking people and sabotaging my shit, I don't need no enemies when I got frenemies out there like y'all. And y'all heard what was said. Dana J, your your rally at the MCC, it got kind of crazy. Whoa, that wasn't my rally. So somewhere down the line, somebody done went and told Greenberg that I was the one leading that rally at the MCC. Nope, I corrected that shit real quick. That was not me. Do not associate me with bad bones and wolves and wild dogs. That was not me. I will never conduct a love after lockup rally where people getting raped and threatened and shit. And then I heard Grease Face was on with Trent and Trent made her look stupid. But then again, here's how I'm going to play that. Who the fuck is that? Who's Carolina Diamond? Who's, who's, who's that? When she gets some relevancy, then come talk to me. When you can get over 300 people in your chat, then come talk to me. The only good advice Spit and Fire gave was grow your channel. So I'm going to grow all of my channels. But every time y'all lie, I'm going to put out a fact. And I didn't forget my main page, my main page got struck. And they couldn't strike it no other no other kind of way. So they said, I'm doing self-harm to myself. And they showed me who reported it. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you, Bedbug. Thank you, Miranda. So out of all the messed up stuff y'all doing to me, I thank y'all because y'all are showing me exactly who y'all are. And I'm going to conclude that. I'm going to conclude that. Now, from this point on, I addressed it all. Spitting Fire said, and don't go on your platform. Man, you can't tell me what the fuck to do on my platform. But I'm going to go here. It is what it is. So every time y'all lie, I'm going to pop out a truth. Y'all going to get tired. Or people going to wake up and leave y'all alone. One or the other. I'm not building none of y'all channels no more. I see what you're doing, spitting fire. You're trying to make a come up off me. I feel you. Because you said it many times. That's all you got to do is be for Dana J. Then your shit will come up. But uh, 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 I'm not going back and forth with you. I'm not going back and forth with you. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my motherfucking big boy drawers on, laugh at that shit, and pop a recording out. And let people hear it for themselves. Like I said, y'all jealous of what y'all can't overtake. Y'all want the anointing and the oil that's on my life and on Levi's life. But with any higher blessing comes a higher demon. And in order for me to go higher, I had to overcome this demon. Now, you say the people dealing with the ops. Well, I'm going to go here. 
and then Spit and Fire did say, oh, well, they, they didn't turn their back on me. But here's the thing. I never said Team Truth ain't turned their back on me. What I said was, when y'all, Team Kills, turned y'all back on me and tried to persecute me, Team Truth came to my defense along with the Dream Team. And the only reason why is because of integrity, which y'all have none. So at the end of the day, I heard Spitting Fire say, so where they at now? I'm good. Oh, I don't want to see you lose your job. I'm not. I'm good. Oh, them boys had to do what they had to do. And so do I. I got to do what I got to do, too. So at the end of the day, I only tried to help Sylvia. I only tried to help Tyson. But guess what? The gloves are off. And I'm reporting everything. So Tyson, talk to the feds and tell them everything you know about me. I got two questions. When did I point a gun in the camera and say, I'm going to kill you? When? And you said, I clocked a gun. When did I clock a gun? Prove it. And only way you can prove that that's a gun being clocked, you got to see that gun. Thank you, Brooke. Now, if you can't see the gun, you can picture anything. You can do anything to make it sound like a gun. <laughs> it is what it is. But I thank y'all for coming over here, man. Look, honestly, I'm going to keep it real. Um, That's it for me tonight. I'm going to show y'all. If you want to support the R. Kelly Defense Fund, please do. But you can mail checks and money order to the law offices of Douglas C. Anton Esquire. At 3 University Plaza Drive, suite number 407, Hackensack, New Jersey, 07601. Also, if you want to PayPal, you can PayPal them at paypal.me backslash capital R, capital K, lowercase E-L-L-Y, capital D, lowercase E-F-E-N-S-E, lowercase, I'm mean, capital F, lowercase U-N-D. That's the R. Kelly Defense Fund. Now. If you want to support Dana J page, you can hit me by doing so. Right here. Wake up America, people. You can cash at me at dollar sign D T H E E B more B M O R E actor A C T O R all caps. Or if you want to sell me, you can sell me at my email address, D Jackson 0807 at gmail.com. If anybody want to call in, call in. I know Mama Mary wanted to call in when I talked to her earlier, so I would love to hear what Mama Mary had to say. I'd rather deal with the ops before I deal with the motherfucker who against my fight. Right. I would rather deal with that. You know what? I would play this. I would rather deal with my enemy than to deal with the ops. Because the ops is spitting fire. Block Bender, Kevin Terrell, Dabowski, Sylvia, Randa. That's who the ops is. Everybody that's keeping him in jail. That's who the ops is. So I'll rather deal with the enemy than to deal with the ops. Maybe I can say something to strike a nerve in the enemy that'll make them change their mind. Maybe Team Truth will say, you know what? Dana got a point. Maybe Rob ain't that bad at all. Let me go fuck with Rob. Call bed bug job YouTube. He need to be fired. <laughs> Georgia girl said, "Call bed bug job YouTube. He need to be fired." Yes, you do. Mm -mm -mm. Let me see if Mama Mary. Let me see something. Let me see something. 
Let me see something. When your main page is coming back, I'm not sure. I'm under investigation right now on my main page. So it won't be no more than three weeks. It's all good, though. Hey, y'all go ahead and subscribe to this page, please. Hello? Mama Murray? Yeah. Okay, I'm live. Okay, give me that. Um... I'm calling you now on a call-in number. Say what you want to say, baby. Well, what I want to say is you keep up the good work what you're doing and don't let them upset you because you're real true supporters like me. We're not going anywhere. We know it's bullshit. We know they're just trying to keep something going. The ones that say they for Rob, you know because they're not doing stupid stuff to keep him in jail because that was a deliberately attempt to assassinate him last week when the world was still trying to remember what happened on 9-11, 19 years ago. They down there at the MCC and all around to Kim Fox's office acting a damn fool, hollering about Kim Fox got to go. Don't the bitches know that woman has had an election and that she was there to another four years unless the white people decide to get her out there? She's not going anywhere. And they down there acting a damn fool with nobody making no sense out there calling all the victims' names. Don't they know they're going to prison for that? You don't be out there messing with no federal uh, witness like that, calling out their name. No, I'm not pleased at none of the accusers because I know they have lied. No, I don't like what the prosecutor is doing and what they stand for, but the law is the law. I'm not going to go down and stand in and kill front in front of her door and all out the MCC after they done told me after Rob's brother to come out and say, and then my common sense would tell me, you just don't go out there and do that. If you got any kind of education at all, you don't do that. And all the ones hollering about the praying to God, they praying to a different God than you and I serve. It's the devil. They wishing the devil. They need to stop practicing that black magic and need to get on one accord and stop doing what they're doing. And like uh, Spitting Fox seem to think that you got a control over my mind. You don't have control over my mind. Yes, I think of you and Levi as my son like I used to think of Block. But when Block did what he did and what he said to me, that just turned my stomach because I feel like this. If I'm rocking with you, I'm rocking with you. I believe in loyalty. No, I don't expect you and Levi to agree on everything or you and Block to have agreed on everything. But some of this bullshit was just uncalled for. It was not right. You know, don't be working behind the scene working against me because he could have came up and been a man and said, Dana, I don't want you fucking with me. I just don't work with your ass no more. Leave me the hell alone. And when that came up on the screen that Sunday, that those people had been to your house and got you, and then them saying he had a hand in calling, saying that you had stole money along with that no good cabin to rail and fucked up no sense divorcing with his stock is talking or raping ass. That just turned my stomach. And I don't need a spin fire to think that I can't think for myself because I can think for myself. She always talking about a surfer thinker. I don't think she is because she didn't want you to protect her when Kevin Terrell was on her ass, but she wanted you to protect her when Larry said something, how are you going to protect her from what Larry did and you wasn't even there when it came out? And she don't need no protection because she wants to be everybody's mama. And if you ain't running things the way she wants you to run them and you ain't saying what she wants you to say, you, you're wrong. And that's not right of her. And that's wrong of her. And it's, I, she, I don't hate spin by. I just don't agree with some of the tactics that she is using excuses after excuses because all these people that need justice like Blake and, 
in Kenosha uh, about uh, Floyd George, a lot, a lot of people. If you suggest that that's what your channel should be about, and she has not been on that, she might mention them once, but it's still after you saying you wasn't going to be covering the R. Kelly case no more because there was a lot of people bringing it. She's still on that. I don't know what happened to her, but I really wish that she would get back to being her old self again. And I just think that was just uncalled for what she did and what she said yesterday. I didn't like it, but that's her opinion. It's not going to change my opinion. And ain't nobody on the Cal side. She's saying that we all slow, but everybody on the green team is not slow. I'm 73. That's the only thing I'm slow about is my age, and I'm not slow about that. I'm glad God made me be 73 years old, but I'm not slow in my damn mind. I'm not slow in my walking. I'm not slow in my thinking. I can outthink the average damn person, and they don't know what I know, and they don't like my opinion. Well, I don't like their damn opinion because at least one thing, I don't change no every other day. I'm not going by what you and Levi say. I do research too. And I feel like this, they need to cut this out. And all of this going on, everybody can see that this was done malicious and intent intentionally. It don't take a rocket sign to come down and put a damn hanging fly outside saying, we are doing this against R. Kelly, but we all want you to think that we are for R. Kelly. The moves that they've been making and what they saying, it's all uh, it's against R. Kelly all the way. Even his worst as any man wouldn't do no shit like that. It's the so called any man that you and Levi is stopping the bag and they can't get the bag like they wanna. So naturally, damn it, they are mad and upset because the money ain't flying the way they want it fly. So I don't give a damn what they say about me. And so in Sylvia's chat the other night, I think that was Sylvia or either Sandra said that Denise Burr and me, let me tell you, I'm 73 years old and I don't fight anymore. I go at your ass another way. She wouldn't even have a fucking chance at me because I wouldn't allow, but I don't follow no mess like that because I wouldn't donate one penny to nothing that Dabowski, Sylvia, them have. Because I don't believe that they sincere. I know they are liars. And they all against each other. And they going to start churning. Just watch. They got the word about money. Just watch. They going to be turning against each other because they already against each other. They just trying to outdo each other. There is nobody over there on that team that is really sincere and fighting for Robert Sylvester Cat. They're not. I know that we are fighting for, and the reason why, and they can say what they want to say. And I'm giving this compliment to Larry and Team Two. True. I'm not for a lot of things that Team Truth has done and said. I used to be like Larry for the shit he was saying. Some things he still say out of his mouth that I don't like. But one thing I can say. He's fair. He he will be honest about his true feelings. He came to your rescue when the people that were supposed to be rocking with you supposed to have your back did not have your back. One thing I'll say about it, he's intelligent and everybody on Team Truth is educated. They don't go out talking facts that they don't know anything about. And that is what's wrong with over there on Sylvia them camps because they just run their damn mouth. If one blogger come out and start a lie, they don't know whether it's true or not. They just get catch the tail of it and keep running with it. I like intelligent people that know what they talk about and you don't always, you don't have to go around preaching about how holy you are and how you love the Lord. Because if you got any sense, you know you didn't, you're not living by yourself. You're living off of God, mercy, and grace. You don't have to do that. But the devil knew the Bible. And he tried to make Jesus 
do a lot of things and Jesus was on to him. So they need to stop all of that fake shit because if you for Jesus and you preaching the Bible and you trying to tell everybody how religious and holy you are, you ain't going to do the low down shit that you did. Because one thing about it, if you a Levi, a prima donna, a sky don't do something I don't like and I think you wrong, I think I have enough sense to wait and call you and talk about it on the line, off the line. And if we could not agree to it, then I just said, well, Dana, I'm going my way and you go yours. That would make me hate you. and telling everything and putting all this low down dirty shit on you she's done enough and she's trying to be so religious and i did say and i said it what was shock her to her sister she was on there today talking about she loved her husband i don't i i, I don't know whether that's true or not because if you love your husband you wouldn't treat him the way you treat him what he need to do is divorce and get a younger woman maybe that'll bring her to some sin because the way she's acting she's acting like she possessed mighty devil now and that's my opinion you hear me dana yes ma'am you know i don't like all that we shouldn't have all this going back and forth you've never seen none of those people in the Epstein case, the Weinstein case, we get out there and disgrace themselves against Weinstein. They knew he was a monster. They knew what he had done. They don't do what we are doing. And no, they do not want Robert to come out. They don't want Rob to come out of jail. And they lie and they need to stop lying to themselves. They know why he's there. And they're going to keep him there as long as they go around preaching and lying and going all kind of threatening mess and threatening Azrael and everybody else and, and doing all the devious thing they doing, they ass gonna bust hell wide open because they are not right. They need to stop that. And they know I don't care what they say about me because they know wh what they talking to when they talk to me. I don't care. And like I say, I'm gonna take some more steps too because of the fact I don't like what is going on. There's no babies over there. Everybody is of age past their 30s and they shouldn't be carrying out like they're carrying out. And they like enjoy doing that but all I'm going to end up in prison and I can't wait. The YouTube streets need to be clear. If you can't bring, you can be against Rob if you want to. You don't have to lie on other people. You don't have to do the low down dirty thing that you're doing. And so with them doing what they're doing, they're not going to ever be grateful and, and blessed by God. Because God sits up high and looks down low. And he's against the pretty as well as the ugly when you do ugly things. You don't do that to your brother or your sister. And then they want to put everything on you. You did this. You did this. Well, Dana, if you did all that, you got that much goddamn power to keep all this here going. You ought to have enough goddamn power to go welcome to the MCC and get Rob out. So I know they damn lying on you because you don't have that kind of power. And you are for R. Kelly. You've been for it. And they are listening at a lie that was told that they've been on the channel uh, for a long time, no. You and Levi was the first somebody and phases that came on the Sky Zone Father, then Prima Donna, starting back the last of 2018 and in 2019, everybody start, you, you folks start getting on the fire, start getting on there, and then everybody else came and followed because they done had a whole set of brand new bloggers that was over there on Team Truth, like uh, God is done, day one, and all of them that left. So I keep up with this stuff because I don't have anything else to do other than my grandchildren and do and sit at home and watch TV and get on my computer because of the fact I'm retired and my work is my living is made. And I just don't like the lies that I'm here. But everything, if you didn't do it, leave I did. But nobody else do nothing wrong. Everybody is a saint. Everybody is lying. You and Levi is the only two somebody that lie all the time. Y'all lie. 
Everybody else tells the truth. And and, and that's not right and that's a lie. Because I listen to lies every day, all through the day, that they be saying, and that's not true. So you're going to be blessed. And like I say, what they need to stop doing, and, and, and I don't like it, and I still don't like it. No matter what Bruce, what Carrie has done, what Teresa has done, we didn't go up with Rob. We don't know whether it's the truth or a lie, but Rob loved his family. He loved his children. And if he accepted, I love it to death. I got sense enough to know that he don't want us going around lying on his brothers and lying on his sisters. We old enough to know better. And if he accepted, ain't nobody got a damn thing to do with it. That's his family. Because I know for a fact, me and my family, we want to fight. That's our damn fight. But you let somebody else get into it. They ass going to get the worst of it. Because they just tend to their own motherfucking business and stay out of my family business. That's right. Our family do talk about each other. They get mad, brothers fight, sisters fight. Sometimes they get mad and don't speak in years. But that's nobody's motherfucking business but the family. While they are trying to run R. Kelly's life with his family, they need to be trying to run their own fucking life with their children and their husband and man. Most of them need a man. They ain't got no man because them things over there that they running behind and sending cash out to them, I wouldn't send it to a duck that I was about to fuck. So it's, it's, it's just a damn shame. And running around trying to get Rob's lawyers, they need to leave that alone. Don't they think Rob got enough sense to know that if, if he was unpleased with Greenberg and them, that he had sense enough and enough time before this even got this far to have said, well, I want new lawyers. They don't want nothing but the money. And when he, when, when Dubosky made that, invited you to fight with him, how come he didn't take you up on it back here five months ago? He know damn well if you blow on him with all that TV and, and crack he got in him, he'll fall dead. He knows that. And he needs to stop that shit because they just want us to give our money to them where they're having to travel up down the road by dope and by trans trans uh genders because they ain't gave Rob none of the defense funds and they use the defense fund as a scapegoat. They need to stop lying. They know damn well that that is a legal defense fund. They've been knowing it for over a damn going is going on now two years just with the thing. They've been knowing that. They know damn well that Doug Anton is not going to put his life on the line. He ain't going put 30 years of being a lawyer on the line for no damn uh, R. Caddy defense firm for his client. He got a family and he don't want to be in jail. They know that, but they just got to have an excuse. They just got to have somebody to lie on and to keep a confusion going. So they need to stop that damn shit because they know they are lying and they can't convince nobody to believe that lie because they don't how they gonna convince me and other people to believe what they are saying about that defense fund when they don't believe and they know that's a lie they damn self they know that's a lie you can't convince me of a lie if you ain't convinced yourself hmm. so everybody is not a fool just cause there's a lot of people my age and younger is not that stupid and I don't know why they going, always, it's you. You did this. You did everything. If you had stood by, you and Levi, and let this went on, God would never bless y'all. He would hold y'all accountable. And how in the hell they so concerned about what Levi look like and saying Levi ain't Rob cousin, how the hell they know? They don't know who the fuck Rob cousin. I could be his cousin, long, long cousin. They ain't never seen him. You know, they just keep so much shit going, tending their own business. What's going on in their family? And they scrambling up. Some of them trying to get to New York, knowing that when they come back, they'll be evicted from their home. They cars be taken from. They might not have no job. They doing a lot of shit that's uncalled for. And especially why you going there when you know Rob is not going to be there. The lawyer's not going to be there. Ann Dunley's not going to be there. You just going to make a statement for what to just to be on TV? Why don't 
don't you wait until Rob, you know Rob gonna be there and the lawyer's gonna be there and you know the trial gonna be and then go. That would be beneficial. I ain't seen not a poster. I've been calling and asking some of my friends in New York. They haven't seen no posters or nothing out but the ones that the Glenn from the from uh um uh, Gucci, when he plays on his, when he's on Syria channel, they haven't seen it. What about all this going to the radio and have them make a statement? This is not doing Rob any good with them going there with false intentions. Because they going there to start shit. They going there hoping that you come, thinking that they can get a chance to steal you or hurt you or try to kill you. But karma is a motherfucker because who you planning a ditch for, you going to be the one fall in it. And one thing that we as the supporters going to do, if a strain of your hair, a Levi hair, come up hurt, we know who the policemen need to go get, who the Homeland Security and the FBI need to go get. Yes, so because they the one got the most to, to to gain from it because they've been bragging and lying and saying what they want to do. And the whole conversation is about Bozo. You know, Bozo was a damn good clown. They don't even make a good commentary. And it's just a shame that they keep this going. And I'm so sick of it. I'm sick of it. But I salute you and Levi. No, Huh? Question. So you said your friends told you there's nothing running in New York? That's what my friend girl told me. No. She said she ain't seen no flyers or posters of, of our Kelly. No flies, oh. no posters, no radio ads, no, no commercials, no nothing? No. She ain't heard it because I played it from my computer. She said, no, we ain't seen that. We ain't heard it. Ain't nothing out. She said, maybe it's going to come out. She said, when this happened, I played it over and over for her. And she said, no, I, we don't have that. She said, maybe it's coming. But so far, that we're not being advertised on the radio. We don't have no flyers out. And this is our first of hearing it. Now, that's what she said. And that first of hearing it is when you played it. When I played it for my computer. And I've been playing for her practically all day Tuesday and all day today. Uh, and she was saying, where can you get it from? I didn't even recommend they challenge. Because if they can sit around and say that you and Levi were stealing from the defense fund, I'd be damned. And in no sense of... Uh, uh, dig at Gucci because I really like Gucci and I do know Gucci is trying to do the right thing about Rob. I I know if anybody over there really loves Rob, it is Gucci. And I know he's been taken in by the ass. And I just hate it for him putting out all that money so he needs to try to recuperate his money back. And I do believe in Gucci. And he's the only one over there I can say that I feel got a clear conscience because he's the man that's putting out the money them other bitches ain't going to put out a penny. They just gonna sit there and let them use all their money and turn around and do them just like they did you. I I'm willing to bet you two months after this red, I won't even give it to December. I give it to November. Watch and see. Once they come back, they gonna start some shit with Gucci. You no. Know? Wow. So. So. That's all I can say is wow. You know. So. They, that's what I'm saying. They, they, not. Can you hear me, Dana? Yes, ma'am. You know, so it's not. It, I mean, maybe it's gonna show in New York, but I know of today at six forty-five, it had not jumped. You know, because she's saying, "Where's this commercial? At? Where's it coming out?" I said, "Well, the promoter, Gucci, the sponsor." Then had it out, but it's supposed to be New York plan is supposed to be played sometime this week. She said, We have no flyers, we don't have no setup or nothing. And she said, I haven't heard anything from the radio. And she went to 103.3, 101.5, all the urban radio stations. And she said she hadn't heard it. Wow. So now I'm not saying it's not going to come, but it still hasn't been played 
for her, and she lives in Brooklyn. So I just don't understand it. I don't know what's going on. And I know they still asking for money for stuff, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's going to show this week. Uh, maybe next week when it's leading up to the actual day because they're supposed to do it. So I don't understand it. Wow. So I don't know that. I don't know whether it's true. I don't know whether it's a lie, but she wouldn't have no reason to lie. Right. She wouldn't have no reason to lie because she would have said, because when I saw her playing that, she said, that's all I get. And she said, where you hearing that from? I said, this is the ad, because I said, he will come on saying, when I want to love, then it goes to heaven. Mama Mary. Mama Mary, I think our phone died. I think our phone died, y'all. Wow. I was hoping that wasn't true. Wow. I'm live, yeah. I was hoping that wasn't true. Wow. This is crazy. But look, I'm about to get up. Hey, Brooke, hurry up and call in. I'm about to get up out of here. Hurry up and call in. I'm about to get up out of here. I got to go to work. <laughs> I go to work. Glad you made it home. Oh. I'm about to ask all my author friends in Brooklyn, New York, if they heard any commercials about R. Kelly. And trust me, I got a lot of author friends that I talk to daily. Yeah, Toy, find out for me. That's crazy. I donated to Gucci, and the money from the weight club went to him also. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. The weight club that y'all was supposed to get, Georgia girl, at the end went to Gucci? Wait a minute. I, no, that, that money was for y'all to see who lost the most weight. Not for Gucci. Y'all need to press Sylvia to get y'all money back. Hey, Mama. Yeah, um, I guess it did go dead. I, I told you your phone went dead. Yeah, it, did, it went dead. So I went and got the house phone. I put it on charge and my cell phone on charge. So I told her what to look for. So I, I don't know. I'm not saying that it's not going to come this week. But she swear that that was the first that she heard of this. So I don't know what's going on, but I know they still asking for money and stuff like that. They was a few days ago. I don't know whether there still is now or not, but I know on Wednesday or Thursday they were still trying to get some money together and stuff. And I feel like this, if they had that stuff together, all that should have been over with. And I know I've been listening I, I told the lady, I said, well, are you sure? She said, I went to every urban station that we have here. And I said, well, what about 103.3 and 103.5? She said, I listened to all of them. And she said, I have not heard it. There is no flies out. I said, well, do y'all know anything about a rally coming? Um to uh Fort Greenlee Park. She said, I don't know anything about that. Wow. Now that's what she said, and I and I said, "Well, are you sure?" She said, "I'm positive." So I don't know, and I know I ain't heard Sharon Winbush mention nothing else again. <laughs> so I don't know what they doing, but I just know that uh, I don't think this is gonna be a very successful rally. I would want it to be, but it's not going to be because you got the wrong people in head of it. Uh, for Gucci part, it would be fine. And I really hate it for his part that this is going to be happening. But them other devils, when you invite the devil into 
a good plan, a good plan will go haywire because of you got too many people that are big devil in there. And I really do. I really was at first when if you had a still been okay and stuff like that and they hadn't a mess with you like they did, I knew it would have been successful because you know how to plan it. You know what to do, you know what to say, and you know how to direct it. Nobody has gone there to even rope it off to see how far they going to go and where they going to be and everything. Gucci mentioned it on the channel the other day where they was going to start and everything. So I Googled it and went. It's a big park, very beautiful park and everything. But I don't know. I don't know what the kind of heroes that's following them. I don't know. And I just hope he get from under because it's messing up his image. He's got a, he's been a rapper all these years. He don't need to be in that kind of mess. But if you're going to hang with them, then I guess you have to suffer the consequence. Hey. Or oh, when Jesus told Lot to tell his wife, don't look back. Mm -hmm. And she did. You see what happened, right? Turned into a pill of salt. She sure did. So, Dana, it just, it's just a mess. It's just a mess. But I, I, I know everything's going to work out. For us, because our heart and the right, and I'm just so happy with with uh, Senator. Oh, uh, this girl, I think her name, Lakia Hill, made two videos and sent to you Listen. where Nasty Bedbug was downtown in Houston picking at the. Uh, Spanish people and saying different things nasty about you, about, uh, yeah, he sent to, he turned in, he had a right to turn in about, uh, uh, you, uh, threatening his mama and his sons and all kind of shit, the same old stuff, because he ain't got nothing else better to talk about and stuff like that. And she was saying that, you you don't have no content and say you wait till I send this to Dana, you know. So it's it's just been mess all day long, all day long. But uh, we 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 okay, we okay, and I know everything gonna work out for the way you want it to work out. I ain't repeat nothing over the phone. That's important to Rob. It's important to outside. But let them go on because they gonna get what they want. Right. They, they ain't going to want it, but they going to get it. And I, I do believe I got a good feeling things finna change, but I had to say what I had to say. And I don't care what they come on there and say. I still mean what I say. And I don't believe none of that bullshit. And they need to get up off of there. And I'm tired at whoever that's picking at Sky Zone all the time. I don't like that. Because she don't deserve that. This is a classy lady. She don't bother nobody. She speak to her. She stays in her lane. And if she can help you, she'll help you. And I don't know why. they Because they can't rule Sky Zone and can't rule Prima Donna. They want to fuck with her. Because the, the Hellraiser was over in her chat tonight. I heard her when she called her out. So, like Sky Zone says, she ain't got no beef with you. You ain't did nothing to her. What you ain't did nothing to none of but tried to help them. But if they didn't want to be, they didn't have to feel like they had to use you to get the information they wanted. Why didn't they just come up and ask you? You know? I don't know. But Everything turned out for the best. You where you need to be now, and you keep prospering and keep doing what you're doing. And let me know how everything turned out. And I'm with it. Whatever go down, I'm with it. I'm backing you and Levi all the way. And I'm not changing my mind for anybody. I just, can't. I just hope this time, I know this time next year, we'll have Robert home. He'll be home. Safe and secure. He'll be home and out of this drama. Right. You know, so go on and finish your live and get your phone charged up, too. And I'll talk to you tomorrow uh, whenever, you know, you get everything straightened out like you want to and you go back live again. OK. 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 Love you. Love you, too. Bye bye. All right, Joe. I'm about to get up out of here. Got to get to work. So I'll see you all Monday. Remember. Leave all the drama alone. We, we we don't gotta play with these folks no more. 
Shout out to my guy, Senator. He's definitely not playing with him. Definitely. He ain't playing with none of them. But, hey, I'll be back. I'm about to get up out of here, go to work, knock out these hours. And y'all be blessed. Y'all have a good night. And remember, keep God first in everything you do. Remember, elephants don't swat flies. And, you know, be someone important. Be yourself. All right. Peace. Good night. And I thank y'all for rocking with me. I thank all y'all for rocking with me. All right. Y'all be blessed. I'll be on here until my main page come back up. Let's see what the investigation, you know what I mean, turn out to be. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. All right. Peace.